Tomb Raider here, back again. It's been a while since I've done a vlog. A long time, too long, some might say. So those of you who've seen my channel before will hopefully know that I made it to the Arctic last summer. All 10,000 kilometers there and back. And it was a lot of fun. But now, some of you may have already read my latest blog or blogs but I've set myself a few new charity motorbike challenges after the success of making it to the Arctic where I raised £5,000 for the brain injury charity Cerebra so I covered a lot of miles um, when I went to the Arctic and some really big days I think the biggest day I did was something like 650, 700 miles when I was in Germany on the way home, right in the Autobahn, and um, kind of inspired me in terms of what I wanted to do next. So I've set myself two charity motorbike challenges. So next summer, 2016, I'm going to attempt my first Iron Butt. For those of you who don't know the Iron Butt um, rides, they're um, safe, long distance motorbike rides, normally covering a thousand miles in 24 hours. However, due to the uh, size of the UK, it's easier in America and Australia, right? Due to the size of the UK, their kind of entry ride is the Iron Butt end-to-end -end challenge, which is to ride from Land's End to John O'Groats, or the other way around, um, which is 875 miles in less than 24 hours. Now, for any of you, those who've looked at the route of that before, there's a bit of motorway, but certainly up in Scotland, there's about 300 odd miles of Highland roads to be contending with, right? So this is gonna be, hey, it's gonna be a big challenge. So the route will see me on day minus one, ride from Newcastle down to Land's End. And on the day, I'm going to ride from Land's End through the uh, southwest of England, turning north at Bristol, heading all the way up the west coast of England, past Manchester, Lake Districts, until I get into Scotland and then to Glasgow. And then from there, head into central Scotland, past Stirling and Perth, and then the Highlands. 300 odd miles of twisty highland roads before reaching John O'Groats most northerly point in the mainland of the UK hopefully less than 24 hours later now, I've spoken to a few people about this ride some people reckon it'll be quite easy and others like me I think it's going to be really hard there's the tired factor tiredness factor which is going to hit in just from the fact that uh, I've got to get myself all the way down to Land's End the day before and then go and plug on and do near 900 miles in, a, in less than 24 hours the next day and I appreciate any comments or tips from anyone who's done an iron butt or done so many any ultra long distance uh, long distance rides my plan is to to probably get up at about four in the morning and set off then try and miss any of the rush hour traffic in the southeast around Bristol and really be on my way before kind of breakfast time and I'm hoping I'm not going to have to do any big stops where I have to take on any sleep or anything I'm going to try and do it without that a few people have recommended that might be a good idea um, but for me I'd rather just go for it and get it done and, and sleep when I get to um, to get to the top of Scotland. And so the Iron Butt Association, the only way to become a member is to complete one of the Iron Butt rides. Um, and you have to get certified to do that. So I'll have to get a witness at the start at Land's End. Again, any volunteers get in touch. A witness at the end at John O'Groats. And then record all of my fuel and food stops along the way. So that's making sure I get an electronic receipt whether that's my food or getting my fuel at a petrol station and then all that has to be sent in um, all those verification processes sent into the Iron Butt Association who then verify it and all going well I become a member of the Iron Butt Association 
now, depending how much riding I've got left in me once I get to John O'Groats, if I make it, I might treat myself to a day or two of uh, some short days, maybe some 400, 500 mile days in the um, in the Highlands. Might even go and try and find the Loch Ness Monster. Yep. Yeah, so that's the lowdown. That's what I'm up to. So you can uh, you can keep up to date. I'm going to be doing some more vlogs to let you know how my um, my training and progress is going. I actually did a ride up to the southwest of Scotland a few weeks ago to go and visit some family. Did a, a 300 mile day, which seemed like a really long day, which I don't think is a good omen. I think I need to get more practice in. But yeah, going to be doing plenty of vlogs, updating my blog regularly. So you can keep up to that. Any subs would be appreciated, or any shout outs that anyone can do to um, let people know of the cause I'm doing. So that's, that's it for now, folks. Thanks very much for tuning in. Please give me a like, comment, sub if you'd like.